The intro to a Sea of Thieves video is normally the part where the content creator lays out their plans for the viewer, introducing them to unique concepts and theories, or prefacing upcoming engaging moments that they've had over the course of their gameplay. I am going to need 5,000 bananas just so that I can have a legendary ship without really working for it. How was that? Here's the deal. Legendary ship status requires 50 milestone unlocks in one particular class alignment. If you wanted to sail the seas and turn in treasure, you could focus on Gold Seeker. If you wanted to prove your metal in PvP, you could work in the Guardian or Servant alignments. But before you can purchase a new ship of the same class, your previous ship needs to be legendary. So that brought up a question for me. What are the easiest ways to get a ship to legendary status without really working for it? Turns out, I came up with four of them. Firing cannonballs, drinking grog, bailing water, and yes, eating bananas. Technically any provision would do, but come on, it's bananas. First, I tried the cannonball method, which requires 75 cannon shots per level. This has actually gotten easier with the recent update boosting starting ship supplies. And thank you to subscriber and friend Lee Cross, who provided some great alternative angle shots in B-roll that will sadly mostly go unused. Sorry, bud. It took an average of 3 minutes and 15 seconds to clear my guns. That means 50 levels of this would take just under 2 hours and 45 minutes of straight shooting. But overall, I believe Sea of Thieves players would agree that's not a terrible amount of time of grinding for what amounts to a legendary status, but we've still got more to experiment with. Next was Grog Pouring. This one... Oof. If you get spatial sickness, my apologies, but this is not the milestone for you. You have to pour and drink 30 grogs for a single level. After two grogs, your pirate character is going to be wobbly, and after three to four, prepare for the sick. Turns out, this one is harder to complete at five minutes and 20 seconds. That means four and a half hours of nothing but drinking grog, trying to get your wobbly character back to the barrel, pouring yourself another, and going again. Yeah, not for me. I thought that the bucket method might be a good option, and it still might be. But my problem with it turned out to be forces outside of my control. You see, in order to get water into the ship, I had to damage it. Luckily, the ship spawns with fire bombs, so no problem there. But then the combination of managing the fire so that it actually causes enough holes without killing me, and the various levels of water, meant that this particular milestone is one better left when you have a partner in. And now the moment you've been waiting for. I decided to make things just a little bit easier. I'd buy a fruit crate from the local Merchant Alliance representative at the outpost and eat from that instead of eating from the barrels. Yes, it costs a little more gold, but I think the camera shots were worth it in the end. And yes, all I did was eat each and every banana in these crates. When I was finished, I would jump into a new server, buy more supplies, and do it all over again. It takes only a minute and 30-ish seconds to finish a crate. 90 seconds a level. 50 levels. I'd have my legendary ship in just a little over an hour. Worth it.
And there you have it, level 50 in provisions eaten aboard. 5,000 bananas later, we have our legendary ship title, The Legendary Hunter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content on this channel in the future. I'd also love suggestions, just don't make me eat any more bananas. This is John Bardcore signing off until the next adventure. So long and take care.